Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you everything I have been keeping in my everyday summer makeup bag. So the products that I have on my current rotation and the stuff that I'm using almost every single day when I do my makeup if I'm not testing out something new or just craving to use something else. These are like the things I've been using the past few months regularly, almost every day, like I said. And as you can tell, my makeup bag is big. Pretty much full to the brim, but I am going to show you every single thing that I keep in here. The last time I shared a bag similar to this, I got a lot of questions about it. So this is from Leatherology, and this is the, I think there's two different sizes of train case. There might be three. This, this might be the smallest one. I do have the XL ones as well, which I love, and I use those a lot for toiletries, but I think that this size is really great for makeup, and they're really great quality. One of my Leatherology train cases I've had for going on like five years at this point, and I feel like it still looks really great. It's lost a little bit of its shape over the years, but overall, they're really, really great, and I think they're good for like anything liquid or hair tools, stuff like that. Great for travel, great for throwing on a vanity and just keeping all of your stuff easy access. So I love those. Today's video is sponsored by Dermatica. You can go to Dermatica.com and fill out a questionnaire. It's really going to go in depth about your skin type, your skin goals, and what you want to address about your skin. So for me, I wanted to address preventing future acne breakouts as much as possible, but also addressing a lot of post-acne hyperpigmentation from previous breakouts that I've had that were a little bit more severe in the past few months. And hyperpigmentation is something that I've always dealt with. You will also send in photos so that the dermatology team at Dermatica can assess what your skin is looking like and the stage that it's in right now. So my prescription is a tretinoin and azelaic acid lotion. This needs to be used at night on freshly cleansed skin. Two pumps of this product and then seal it in with a moisturizer. I'm going to have a link in my description box for the Dermatica website. You guys can use the code DACY. That's going to get you your first month free and then your second month will be 10% off. I loved how easy and convenient the whole Dramatica process was to get this prescription. Elf's Power Grip is my holy grail primer of hot weather. I just think that this works so well. Past couple months, I have been testing out this niacinamide version. I also like to put a little bit around my eyes as well. I think it helps so much with just keeping those areas nice and moisturized. But I actually do have thoughts on the niacinamide version versus like just the original blue. I think the niacinamide visibly smooths my skin. I think it just definitely gives me a little bit more of a smooth canvas versus the blue one. And you definitely do get like a nice dewy finish, but your face is obviously really sticky. And so it's great because it just kind of like anchors all that makeup in place throughout the day or night. I also just really like that this one's pink. I think it's cute. This summer, I've also like really found some great tinted SPFs that I'm loving. So I don't typically wear foundation or like anything super heavy unless I have to. I really like getting my coverage from SPF lately. So some of my favorites, I really like the Tower 28 Sunny Days. I wear the shade PCH in this. It's like a perfect shade match for me, really nice mineral tinted sunscreen and then i love the one from elastin there is something about this that looks better than a lot of other foundations in my foundation collection luke and i went to vegas for a week back in february and i wore this only like i just was loving the way my skin was looking when i was wearing this i thought it looked so nice in photos and it was just really really pretty and it always looked really natural i felt like it didn't really look like I had much makeup on, so I don't know what it is about this Elastin one, but it's quickly like becoming one of my favorites for the past few months. So I don't think you can go wrong with either of these because they do provide a lot of really great coverage as well. The Elastin one is SPF 36. It's water resistant. I really think it lives up to that claim because I find this the coverage of it to be really nice and long lasting as well. Sunny Days from Tower 28 is SPF 30. Now a really light coverage, kind of like soft tint on the skin is the Elta MD SPF 46. This one is part of the UV clear line. Love this as well. Very, very light amount of coverage. Kind of reminds me of like the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. 
think that range of coverage so barely there minimal just a really great one and when i do want like proper coverage or like want to feel like i have a little bit of makeup on lately i've really been liking the maybelline superstay skin tint this one's in the shade 220 i went up a couple shades 312 i felt like it was looking a little bit too dark on me so i i feel like this one's actually a really good shade match for me i just really don't think you can go wrong with a tinted spf or a skin tint especially the one from maybelline because this is really nice and buildable so you can get pretty great coverage out of this like almost medium to full in my opinion it builds up a lot more than i was anticipating so usually i'll just start with the elta md tinted spf that way you guys can kind of see how this one blends out you'll see again like not really coverage but just slightly evens out my skin tone a bit i feel like this one makes your skin look really nice and fresh so i love that and then i will show you the tower 28 one like i said i'm really going through this it's just so good and it'll give you like really good coverage i don't wear like a ton of it because i do wear this more as like a makeup product with the added benefit of spf so if i'm wearing it to get a little bit of a makeup look i always make sure to put a little bit more sunscreen underneath it just so that i have like enough on my face i also just love how you can apply tinted sunscreens with your hands like you don't need a brush it just makes life so easy and then as far as like reapplication throughout the day like when i need to re-up my spf super goop makes a tiny little travel size of their resetting mist and that's the one that i'll usually bring around with me because it's like nice and small so it can fit into a purse or just like right into your makeup bag and then you can touch up throughout the day but with this tower 28 one obviously you know you still have to touch it up but i like how the actual like pigment of the product wears like makeup i mean seriously how pretty is that and it's just sunscreens i have two main concealers that i'm really loving that are in my rotation and stay in my everyday makeup bag so the kosas revealer concealer in this i wear the shade six and this is really great for concealing around my face it's really nice and creamy so i just i love the way that this kind of like melts into my hyperpigmentation and just it gives me that extra coverage on all the spots that i need it so i usually use it like around the nose and then anywhere else i might feel like so i put it on a couple of those spots for my under eyes i love the clay de peau concealer this is the radiant corrector for under eyes i wear the shade ochre now i do feel like i haven't given this concealer proper like love and spotlight on my channel i know it's very pricey so i almost feel guilty recommending it but i've repurchased this three times already i really really swear by this concealer it just disappears into the under eye and it looks really lightweight and it also feels really lightweight it just kind of goes on like a second skin and so i really like that for my under eye where i have you know like a little bit more movement and i like how it just doesn't like settle or move around my face so i'll just like blend in the kosas concealer really quick and then i'll show you this clay de peau one because it just like it almost like goes on like water and then it stays put i feel like i don't always have to set it with powder of course you can totally set it with powder if you want a little bit more of a matte finish but it looks so pretty on the under eyes and then i'm just going to take a it cosmetics dual ended brush just blend it out this concealer is literally like a plus five star in my book i just think it looks so good under the eyes when it comes to eyeshadows this is something that you know about me i'm not an eyeshadow queen so in my everyday rolodex i want to keep it very simple and things that I'm actually going to use. So I always like to have on hand, especially during the hot months, I find myself using an eyeshadow primer almost every single day. I really like the one from Urban Decay. This is a good standby. And then I like to have a couple different skin tone shade long wear shadows. 
So I have the liquid powder matte eye tint from Ilia. This one's in the shade ochre. This one's kind of like a clay tone. So that works really well under the eyes. I also like the House Labs. This is the high power pigment in beige matte. There's beige and then the superhero no tug shadow stick from it, which is in bare and brave, which is a little bit more pinky. So there's, <laughs> I'll make it bigger. This is a Baron Bray from It Cosmetics. So they all set down matte and they all will give you like a really nice base for applying eyeshadows on top of. Today I'm going to use the one from Ilia and I'm just going to pick it up on a smudge. Well, this is the Heavenly Luxe No Tug Dual Eyeshadow Brush from It and I like pick it up on the brush. You can apply it directly with the doe foot, but I feel like you'll just get better application if you apply it with a brush first makes the product go on a lot more smooth and I feel like you just have so much better control now these don't set down like scary fast or anything but they set down pretty quick and so having a brush so that your application is as seamless as possible you get a couple seconds of playtime so don't be like too scared the only eyeshadow palettes that I have been using is the makeup by Mario ethereal eyes I know that um this wasn't like a lot of people's favorite palette, but I personally really like it and I find myself going back to it. So I'm just gonna quickly create an eye look. I'm using this shade right here and I just put that all over my eyelid because this is just like an everyday type of look. I will seriously typically just go in with one of the um, shimmer like topper shades or you can use a brush, but I think your fingertips work perfectly fine. And I literally just tap that all over my lid and smudge it in with my fingers. Now I also have one eyeshadow duo that I use pretty religiously. It's the Tom Ford Golden Peach. It's very well loved. So this is a really beautiful soft gold cream shadow. And then on the other side you have your topper which is beautiful. And just goes right over top and gives you kind of like this wet almost like slick appearance on the eyelid. Between the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette and the Tom Ford Shadow Duo, I feel like I always have my look covered because with the Mario one, there's also darker shades so you can do smoky looks as well. And I actually think the smoky looks that you can create with this are really pretty. I do keep one setting powder in here. It's the Givenchy Prism Libre. So this is the shade number four. And I will very sparingly use this. I feel like I don't like to use a ton of powder even when it's hot and muggy because I still don't want my skin to look dry. So I picked up a little bit on a Mario F2 brush and I'll literally just press this right into the areas where I feel like I'm prone to getting a little bit more shiny throughout the day. This is amazing. It's brightening and it just always looks so nice and then I never feel like my skin looks like over powdered whenever I use this so I've been raving about it ever since I got it. I have two main blushes that I'm loving. The first is not going to surprise you. It's Merit's Terracotta. Literally goes with everything. It looks pretty on your eyes, your cheeks, your lips. It's gorgeous and dewy. And then my other like go-to lately has been this one from RMS. It's Maiden's Flush. This is the one I'm going to use today. This is one of my favorite blushes ever. It's a little bit more luminous, which I really like. And of course, it's just a very natural, wearable nude. It goes really well with this eye look, actually. Matching up really nice. And that's the magic about like nude, kind of like terracotta blushes. They literally go with everything. Like you don't have to put any work into thinking about your blush when you use a nude tone because it will go with a natural look, it will go with a smoky look, it will go with anything. And I'm using the Mario F2 again for this. I do have quite a few bronzers that I keep on hand because I have so many that I'm loving right now. So the Pixi On The Glow bronzers. I've mentioned these so many times and shown you these so many times. I love these. These I have in the shade Rich Glow and Beach Glow. And then again, my Dibs one I've been loving. This is in the shade 5.5. And then I also keep my Say Bronze Glow as well. These are like all my favorite bronzers. Today I'm gonna do the Dibs one. I love the way this just like melts into my skin. And all the Dibs products smell amazing. Like everything that I've used from this line, I am so in love with the way the products smell. Just to keep things nice and easy, I'm gonna go back in with that 
Mario brush so I'm not switching brushes on you a million times. I'm just gonna blend this Dibs bronzer in. This bronzer is literally just so good. I only have one highlight in here. Seriously, we're like at the end of my everyday makeup bag, but this is the Tarte Glow Tape in Pearl Glow. So I'm gonna take a Lawless multi-use powder brush. We're gonna use this end and I have the Glow Tape on the back of my hand like a palette. I just lightly apply this to the high points. It's really pretty, it's liquid. So I like that it like dries down to my skin, which I feel like makes it last longer. And because it's liquid, it doesn't like emphasize dryness on my face. Like sometimes powder highlights do. I just, I really like that this dries down and stays put. I'm gonna take a little bit more on the back of my hand and I'm using a Mario EF1 brush. I'm gonna use the pointed flat side and just put that right on the inner corner of my eye and then right under my brow bone. I only have two eyeliners on standby, so my Mario Perfect Brown, my favorite brown eyeliner ever, and then I've really been liking the Valentino Twin Liner, just for the fact that on one end you have a fine tip liquid liner, and then on the other end you have just like a regular um, smudgy black eyeliner. So I find this to be like really nice because it's a two-in-one, and I literally typically just take a little bit of eyeliner, sloppily apply it, and then smudge it into my top lash line. Kosas Airbrow in dark brown. Literally almost nine times out of 10, it's Kosas. I, can, I actually cannot think of how many times I've repurchased this because I use it so frequently. There's been times where I've like used it up really fast because I wear it almost every single day. Like even if I don't do my makeup and I just want a little bit of stuff on my brows, I'll just throw this on. I also love my little freck, especially in the summertime. You can use a brow pencil for this too. You don't have to get this. I just personally really like it. Again, it's been something I've repurchased multiple times because I think it just kind of has like a little bit of an amber hue. So it looks like your actual freckles. I'm going to curl my lashes. You know how I am about my Shiseido. It's my absolute favorite lash curler. And as far as mascaras go, I have two that I go back and forth between. So Maybelline Falsies Surreal, obsessed with. I've talked about this and how much I love it. And then I also really like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Brown. So this is like a chocolatey fudge one. And I actually think this is so pretty on brown eyes. And this is the brownest one I've tried. I have a couple other brown mascaras, but there's something about this one that's just a little bit more fudgy. So sometimes I do it on the top lashes, but I also really like it on the lower lashes. So that's what I'll do today. It makes your lower lashes like insanely long too. And then I'll do this one on the top lashes in case you haven't seen it in the other video because this is like another new favorite mascara. I really think this might be my new favorite Maybelline mascara. And you know how much I love the stiletto, the lash stiletto. That was a favorite for like 10 years plus. I actually think I like this better than lash stiletto. It just looks so good. I really like this combo it's nice last thing i'm ending this video on for my summer makeup bag is as per usual an excessive amount of lip products that i'm using right now so i do have a couple lip liners that i go back and forth between we have anywhere caffeine from makeup by forever a really nice everyday over lining shade i also have love trap by charlotte tilbury this one i've like pretty much used up it needs to be sharpened it's a little bit lighter and more pinky. And then Keep It Spicy by LA Girl. I love how long wearing this one is too. And then there's Keep It Spicy by LA Girl. And my beloved Palladio nude lip marker for most days. It's just nice how this is a marker. So I'll usually do a little Palladio right on my lip line. And then I do have quite a few favorite lip colors. So I'm gonna swatch all of these so you can see them. So this first one is Baby Coral, and this is from the Makeup by Mario, what are these called? The Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Colors. I did a lip swatch video on these two on TikTok and 
Instagram. Baby Coral was by far my favorite out of the whole collection, but I also really love this during the summertime. I think it's just like a really flattering feminine lip color, especially when you're wearing like bronzy looks. It just, it ties everything together. This is Live Tinted's Intent. Now I really love the shade of this. It's a very opaque like lipstick type of product, but you can use those on eyes, cheeks, and lips as well. I've tried it on cheeks. This is a really pretty blush color, but I haven't tried it on my eyes yet. However, I don't like matte lips. I think it makes my lips look really small. So I tend to pair it with a lip oil. I really like the one from Clarins and Cherry, and it makes that lip color so much more punchy. So this is this combo, and I would say this is like my number one combo. I wear this one almost every single time I do my makeup. I think it just looks really nice and fresh. Now I'll show you my second most worn combo. So this is Jean from Laura Mercier. It's part of the petal soft lipstick crayon now this one i love i think this is perfect on its own it's not completely matte you can see it's got a little bit of a sheen to it this formula is amazing like if you haven't tried this i know i've recommended it in the past but this lip formula is perfection and i love this shade it's like a really gorgeous feminine berry so i love that but again, I want to put a little bit of a lip oil on top because I do love a nice shiny finish. And I think Dior's Mahogany is the perfect color because it's a little bit more of like a wine tone. And this is like a gorgeous glossy berry lip combo. I feel like this lip combo is perfect. And I also feel like it makes my lips look bigger. So I really like that about it because I, I do like how... The Dior ones like make my lips look a little bit larger than they actually are. My other favorite thing about this combo specifically is once the Dior oil has done its little bit of a color shift, I think it just makes the most perfect berry. Very flattering. I love this. Like I said, I truly cannot tell you which one I wear more, but I love topping like a lipstick with a lip oil and kind of getting a more punchy result these two lip oils specifically the one from Clarins and the one from Dior because they're a little bit more punchy of a color they really make the lip color more vibrant whereas like these on their own they're not as punchy so I just I like the way they like make it look a little bit more vibrant and then the Clarins lip perfector in shade number 25 wait till you see this it's like a shimmery berry like stop stop it right now this is so good right like i love this this lip color typically is not something that i think i would ever go for it's kind of like a cool toned sheer berry wash but you can really build it up to get more opacity and like i said the way it looks in this and the way it looks swatched does not seem like something i would typically like but i am obsessed with it and i love the way it looks so yeah that's like my favorite singular color right now the only other thing I have in here that I didn't show you is the Dior Lip Oil in Bronze. And I don't think this one's particularly exciting. I feel like it just kind of turns like a little bit pink just for every day. But the Mahogany one is the one you're going to want to get if you want like more noticeable color. Alright, so that is everything in my current summer makeup bag for my like everyday makeup and the stuff I'm really liking to use right now. I'll list and link everything for you in the description box. And if you have any questions about any of these products, please feel free to hit me up in the comments down below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll also have my Instagram and my TikTok in the description box. Let me know any other looks you guys want to see. I know I tend to wear a lot of the same tones, but this is just what I like and this is what I feel the most comfortable in. But if there are any other specific types of looks you want to see, please send me some inspo. Let me know. If you send me the inspo, I'm so happy to recreate it. I love doing makeup tutorials. It's one of my favorite things, obviously. But I want to know what you're into. Like, what types of colorful looks do you guys want to see? I feel like most of the time when I do colorful looks, nobody watches. But if there is something that you're really wanting to see, please let me know. Send me some inspo. Leave a comment. We can talk about it and then... I can see what the most people want to watch and then I'll make a video on it. So I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye everyone.